Hello, and welcome to the newest entry in my Museums of Spain series. Today, we will look into the General Archive of the Indies in Spanish and the Archivo General de Indias, located in Seville. We will look at the history of the museum, its price and accessibility, as well as what you can expect to see inside. Before we dive into the history of the archive itself, we need to talk about the importance of Seville in the history of Spain. Following the discovery of the New World, Seville acquired a monopoly of trade with the Americas. As one had to sail through the Guadalquivir River to reach the city, it was well defended. This monopoly lasted until the 17th century, when Cadiz was authorized as another port of trade. Nevertheless, for about a century or so, Seville was the place to which everything for the New World had to pass through. To handle all of this trade, the Crown of Castile established the House of Trade in 1503. It essentially handled all the administrative duties of establishing trade with the New World, everything from licensing explorers, approving travel, collecting taxes and more. It was, however, moved to Cadiz in 1717 and ultimately abolished in 1790. All these movement of ports and centers of trade would prove to be a logistical nightmare, as documents from the New World were split up between places like Seville, Cadiz, and Simancas. In 1785, then, King Carlos III decided to place all these documents in one place for ease of access. He chose Seville and used the Casa Lonja de Sevilla as a host building for the archives, and is the building you can access today. So what can you see in the museum today? The public areas of the archive are actually not very big, but they have a few interesting documents on display. I would say the main appeal of the archive today is to researchers and historians trying to understand relations with the New World. According to them, they own more than 80 million pages of original documents, with some of the highlights being Christopher Columbus's letter to the Catholic monarchs after arriving in the Americas in 1492 and a treaty of Tordesillas from 1494. There is also a very eye-catching marble staircase leading up to the exhibitions, and you can watch a short film about the history of the archive. The audio is in Spanish, but there are English subtitles. The archive is open from 9.30 am to 5 pm each day except for Sundays, which are open from 10 am to 2 pm. It is free to enter, although there is a security checkpoint at the entrance. It is located in a very central part of the city, close to both the Torre de Oro, a 13th century watchtower, and the Alcazar, which I spoke about in the last episode. Although not especially impressive as either of them, the archive is still a good place to visit as you won't spend any money or much time getting to it. Thank you for watching this video. All photos used here were taken by me except when otherwise noted. Uh, if you have any recommendations or comments, please leave them below or reach me at hispanichistorypodcast at gmail.com.